हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बार्ड ऑन मॉडल स्कूल एंड अदर स्कूल्स टुडे इज द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ दैट एकेडमिक सेशन एंड आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट सम ट्रॉपिक ऑफ द सोशल साइंस सब्जेक्ट द पोर्सन जियोग्राफी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम so before the starting of the chapter according to the present condition you know that we are staying at our home safely and student during that e learning class you will listen carefully if you listen carefully you can understand so the first chapter of geography is earth in the solar system apart geography in social science another two subject also have one is history another one is civics so today the first chapter of geography we will explain so the earth in the solar system first of all the earth is the planet of our solar system but i think you know the term solar what is the meaning sun and around there all planets all together is form the solar system the earth is also a part of solar system now in your book have how wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset i think every students have follow this during the night time you will see toward the sky you can see so many object twinkling on the night sky one would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky obviously you have seen the some bright dot shining in the sky soon you would see the number of increasing you can't count them anymore the so uncountable you know that's why the whole sky is filled with tiny shiny object some are bright other dim it seems as if the sky is studded with diamond they all appear to be twinkling but if you look at them carefully you will notice that some of them do not twinkling as others do they simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines so that's why in our night sky if you will see that some dot are shining but some dot remain fixed so along with this bright object you may also see the moon on the most of the days Well, during the night sky we have seen the larger size of shining object is moon and also however appear at different times we have seen the moon size are different sometime we have seen moon is also we will found in a circle sometime it is also a half circle like that now you can see the full moon only once in about a month's time it is full moon night or purnima so purnima and amavasya these two term also you have seen in your home also and that's why the full moon means on that day we can found we can see the total shape of the moon in our night sky it is the new moon night or amavasya you cannot see at it all this full moon you have not seen throughout the month some days you will see that the total night sky remain dark this is called amavasya on these days you can watch the night sky based provide it is a clear night do you wonder why can't we see the moon and those bright tiny objects during the day time day time if you will see only one celestial bodies what is celestial bodies i will discuss later one things you can found to the night sky and in the day time also you can found the sun only that's why another twinkling object we can't found during the day time because it is covered by sun light it is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see this bright object of the night sky the sun the moon and all those object shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies very important what is celestial bodies students you will write this question what is celestial bodies the answer also have in your book the sun the moon and all those object shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies so those 
object shining in the night sky and daytime sun all together are called celestial bodies but all are called celestial bodies some celestial bodies are very big and hot but this is the characteristics of celestial bodies that some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases they have their own heat and light which they emit in a large amount these celestial bodies are called star sun is a star so in this chapter we will discuss some object which are found in our sky among them star what is the star the definition also we have got already that those celestial bodies are very big and hot sometime maximum time we have found these celestial bodies made up of gases and they have their own heat and light which they emit large amount this is called star the definition also we have got uh, what is star also important question the two question already i have discussed one is what is celestial bodies second one what is star and the example of star is sun so in our solar system sun is only star and also another planet also have what is planet i will discuss later so first of all what is star you can understand an example of the star also you will understand countless twinkling star in the night sky are similar to the sun so in day time also you can found only one star in our sky but night time so many countless twinkling object you can found in the night sky and they are similar with the sun but we don't feel their heat and light it is very important so similar with look like sun lots of countless twinkling object which is also star they are found in our night sky but we can't get heat and light from that star what are the reason because they are very very far from us it is far away from us their heat and light have not reach on our earth surface that's why we will not feel that this star look like sun but it is also look like very small because it is far away from us now you must have noticed that all object looks smaller when seen from the distance obviously if you will found if you will seen from your place to a far away you can't seen this object properly and you will feel that this is very small but actually it is not very small when you will go to their nearer places you can think you can understand what is the actual size how small an aeroplane look when it is flying at a great height it is very good example because if you will seen the aeroplane flying on the sky but if you go to the airport you can feel you can see the yeah, what is the actual size of aeroplane while watching the night sky you may notice various pattern formed by different groups of star these are called constellation so in your book also have a picture constellation so constellation means a group of star <clears throat> when it is formed any type of pattern it is called constellation the definition is very important the so what is constellation constellation is very important while watching the night sky you may notice various pattern formed by different group of star different group of star these are called constellation example of constellations are ursa major or big bear is one such constellation so like star example you have got constellation example also you have got from your book one of the most easily recognizable constellation is saptarshi saptarshi is the name it is a saptarshi if you will uh, divide it or you can they are have written saptam means seven and rishi means sages so seven these sages are called saptarshi it is also a example of constellation it is a group of seven star figure 1.1 also have in this book also if you got the book you can found this this picture and also it is group of seven star that forms a part of ursa major constellation as someone elder in your family neighboring to show the your more star planet and constellation in the night sky so in your nights during the night time we can found this different type of constellation and also different type of star apart from that in ancient time people used to determine direction you know nowadays to find the direction we will use compass but when before the discover of compass how people recognize the actual direction 
on that time in ancient time people used to determine the direction during the night with the help of the star day time they uh, with the follow of sun they determine the recognize the direction but during the night time they follow the they recognize the direction with the help of one star the north star indicate the north direction it is called pole star so what is pole star also very important so like pole star constellation and star this question you will be feared in your home it always remains in the same position in the sky we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of saptarshi so like in your book if you will see this the help of saptarshi one star is also found in the northern direction this is called pole star and it is always remain the same position in the sky we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of saptarshi and also in this picture in your book you can understand you will notice that if you if an imaginary line drawn joining the point point star and extend further it will be the point of pole star so the point star means the last saptarshi there are seven star the last star from that any one imaginary line if you will drawn it will touch with another one star which is far away from saptarshi it is the pole star and through the pole star we can understand the actual direction and it is help in ancient time people understand through the pole star they recognize the direction so up to this today you will read in your home next day from planet we will discuss thank you